Hi guys, uh, welcome to the module 9 of Facebook marketing. Uh, so we are covering in this module Facebook shop as a product. Okay. Now how to, you know, sell and manage Facebook shop. Now for so far, uh, we have already seen how we can use Facebook uh, in the, you know, from a business point of view in terms of advertising, in terms of messaging, message, you know, using Facebook Messenger for CRM. But Facebook has a facility where you can set up a shop and manage your products and sell your products via Facebook. Okay. Now you can set up a shop within Facebook. Okay. So that's the goal of understanding this in this module that how we will manage the products on Facebook and how to sell them on Facebook. Okay. Uh, so what we'll be covering in this module will be why we should use Facebook shop. Okay how to set up that shop on facebook okay how to add products okay uh, what are the basic guidelines about product photos promoting about the products and simpler customer service okay now okay so first of all uh, let's understand why to use facebook shop okay now the idea behind you know this is that if you look at if you look at a customer today then it, when it goes to a retail shop or say a, a store, a retail store or say buying groceries in a big super chain market, they uh, before even they're buying, they may, they will research on face on say digital mediums. Okay. So an end pro an end consumer before buying a product will always be checking on digital. Okay. Now uh, the plethora of options available online are very much known in the you know, uh, in the today's world. Okay. So it makes sense for any commerce, uh, for any commerce vendor, for an e-commerce vendor, for a merchant, for a retailer to be present online. Okay. And with Facebook, with the, one of the biggest mediums to be present on. Okay. Now you can increase your online presence on Facebook with a page. Okay. So what you can do? You can do two things. People can browse. Okay on your page on if you have set up a shop on your page and they can buy on through your shop they can engage with you if you have some queries through the messenger and you can actually drive results transactions through your page okay you will actually end up people buying your stuff via your page okay so that is why we are studying facebook shop okay now moving on let's begin with understanding how actually to set up a Facebook shop. Okay. So to begin with the, when, when we say the, how to set up a Facebook shop, understand one thing, some of the pages, when you create shopping section will not come as a default section. Okay. So how to add a shop shop section? Let me show you in an example. Okay. Now, uh, say for example, there are many pages. Uh, let's pick up one from my side. Say I just pick up this. Okay, it has a shopping page. Uh, let me check more. Okay, so this page doesn't have a shopping as a as a shop as a section. Okay, so how to set up it up? Okay, now you go to the settings. Okay, you go to the edit page settings. And there is something called, these are the currently ones and you want to add a tab. Okay. So there is no option coming as of now over the, in the, so you just add a tab from here. Okay. Now the add is tab. Okay. Now the shopping tab has it added. Now, if you want to check again, so there it is. You add shop as a tab in your page. Okay. Now then we have added the shop section or shop tab in the page. The next step would be to set it up. Okay. So we click on this. We need to agree with the seller's terms and policies. So if you, as a merchant, you need to go through this. If you agree with it, just click on the, I agree and you continue. Now there are two options in the checkout method. Okay. Now you want people to message you. Okay. They ask questions and arrange, or you want them to check out to another website. Okay. You can choose any of the two. Now for now I'll ask message to buy. So let's click my currency would be INR and there I save it. 
okay so this is the shopping section okay now okay so so far so good we have select uh, we have added a shop section we have add, selected a currency and set up a shop okay now okay now if you want to describe what you sell you can describe over here in this section i am just filling a so basically you in the describe section you just mention what is the shop about okay now ha okay so ho hopefully now you have understood how to set up a shop so we have done basic three things okay we added a tab section shop section we selected a currency and set up a shop and then fill out the details of the shop okay so now next thing we are going to discuss is how to add products within the shop okay now very simply there was a there is a call to action button i will take you to the demo where you add products okay you click on this you will ask for a photo name price description okay basic things then you need to enable the feature of feature this product share this product on your page okay now this is how it will look like okay a featured product will look like this in your shop okay and if you want to add more products to fill your shop okay you just add a product in a featured product section okay over here i'll just give you a demo after this okay so this is how it look like so on your page so on your page this is how it will look as a shop section okay and when people click on a product because i have chosen message to buy this will look like this so there will be a call to action on message okay and the product details okay okay so uh, let me show you an example now since i have set up the shop i just pick add products i can add a video or a, add a photo let me select a file i'll just randomly select one okay so you need to put up a price if this product is on sale you can delete this okay now add a description over here product details just like an e-commerce website you can share your product on a on your page okay whether it is available or not and you hit the save okay now you need to sell a selling price which will be say 900 and you hit the save okay so my pro first product has been added i will publish the page now when i go into my section okay now when i go into say shop section this is how my shop section looks okay now you can add a product within the shop section if you are the admin of the page and repeat the activity okay now i will also suggest add a review tab why because you are as a merchant you are selling it okay so this is a suggestion will facebook will give so add a review section okay so that they can give reviews okay okay great okay so uh, so this is where you see as a shop section and when you so when you click on the product this is how it will look okay you can share multiple photos as well okay and this is how your description and everything looks okay now let's move on to the next section where we discussed featured and shared products okay now highlight what is it essentially means highlighting the 
most important, most compelling products on your page. Okay. Now, what is a featured products? Featured product is nothing which appears on the shop section in the top. Okay. So you can fact feature only maximum 10 of the products. Okay. On the top of your page and shared products appear as a, as a post on your page. Okay. Now share now because this brand shared a product. Okay. So this is a product which is shared. So featured product is a, which appears on the top of your page and shared product is a, what a brand or a page shares as a product. Okay. So that's the basic difference. Okay. So now let's move on. So the idea behind featured products is that you highlight what's best for you or which are your, your sale as a merchant. You should be featuring those products or sharing those products, which you ideally want to sell in the near future. Okay. So that's the idea behind, you know, sharing and featuring those compelling products on your page or good looking products or, you know, that sense. Now, since we are talking about good looking products or say uh, product photos, so let's, let's dissect uh, or, or let's discuss what are the good photos or what are the things to keep in mind when you're publishing or you're setting up your products on the Facebook shop as a feature. Okay. Okay. So which works best in case of product photos, def crop image or a full image, definitely a full image. Understand one thing that the image size of a product should be minimum 1024 to 1024 cross multiple length and length and width. And also it should be square in in the size in specifications. Okay. Now, which works best poor resolution or high resolution, definitely high resolution photos, uh, for better visibility of the product and for better selling. And in fact, that these are few of the guidelines, you know, of Facebook in terms of resolution. Okay. Now moving on, which works best far away or a close up of the entire product, definitely a close up of the entire product where you display your product just like in just like it is displayed on an e-commerce website okay so you need you show a product very up close and personal so that customer can have a so can have a real experience of how the product looks or what's the material it's made of okay now which works best or which is preferred patterned background or a white background definitely a white background product it works best and it is recommended from a product photo point of view Okay. So which works best product out of the context. Okay. Or product in real realized situation. It works best in the product in the real life situation. Okay. So moving on what not to use in images when you're, you know, you know, you're showcasing your product catalog or a product catalog on Facebook shop. Definitely no text on the product itself. No call to actions, no promo codes when you are displaying your product photos. Okay. No offensive content, no nudity, no explicit language and no violence. Uh, again, no advertising or promotional material as product photos or product products. When you are adding products, images, no watermark products, photos. Okay. It is definitely not allowed. And there are no phones or email addresses on the product images itself. Okay. So don't use any of these images. It will be disapproved as a product. Ad, okay, so very like very likely how you set up a pro, uh, set up a ad 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 on a Facebook ad manager when you set up a product uh, it goes for approved and can be disapproved. Okay, so moving on now we discuss uh, promoting products. Uh, once you have set up a Facebook shop, uh, you have displayed your product catalog. How to promote your products in order to get more visibility in order to maple mean more aware they consider your products and end up even buying through facebook shop okay so one thing first thing first you can share your products okay when when you, when you post a product it's shared as an organic post so definitely if your page has a visibility or if your page has a fan following uh, uh you know you will get your product as as a displayed once you put up a product so it's already shared as an organic post other thing which you can do is to increase your reach is by boosting products uh, it's very similar to how you do a boost post. Okay. You will get a call to action. If you go to your shop, okay. Uh, you can boost a post from your shop. You can boost from your page. You can boost a post and you're from your product. You can boost up. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, I will get, I'll just go to the example. 
uh, very similar how you set up an advertising campaign you do this for a product you choose an audience you choose a budget and the duration okay and the payment method from which account you want to get charged and it's done okay and once you hit a boost button it's get it starts showing to people as a sponsored ad okay let me show you the examples okay so for example this is an organic post by one of my dummy pages now i want to boost this i select it let me choose a new audience okay now i give it a name men's shirt customers okay you can okay now i want to sell to men i wanted to sell to 21 to say basics i want to sell in delhi and mumbai okay now i move on and i can exclude people i can do a detailed targeting for example someone who is interested in say action films it has an interest okay i add it and i save it so these are my customers okay now i set a budget for boosting this product so let's say i choose to spend 2000 rupees okay so this is my estimated reach of people very similar to how you run an ad okay i want to run it for 14 days okay i can schedule it i want to run it till 28th okay if i want to track how is it doing i can set up a facebook pixel okay and the currencies remain same and i want to get charged through this account and i boost my post and it's done okay and this is how it will look as a one mobile news feed okay so you can so you can do the boost post from here okay as an organic post if you had okay you can also do the same thing when you go into your products okay. now when you are short when you share you post it and you can boost it over there and you share the same thing and then you post it okay so this is how boosting a post works now move on let's move on to the next session which is the final session where we we think that once we have set up a facebook show we should end it we should also measure it how it is doing okay and drawing insights from the reports now in digital understand one thing measurement is the most key part where after measurement you can tweak and optimize whatever is your objective okay so where will you find how will you monitor your products you can monitor unlike in insight it's not an insight section it's in a publishing tool section where within a there will be a shop category where we can view your products okay and you can see how many views happened how many messages were sent okay if you have selected say check out the third website the the metric which you can measure is clicks to the website okay and how many views and clicks you to got you can also watch in an insight section in the shop section okay let me just show you a quick example you go into the publishing tools and you can see over here how is my product doing? okay guys uh so yes uh based on these insights you can you can see if my if say for example these are all the products these are the views these are the clicks i can based on my insights i can see okay i want to share this product i'm getting more views uh so and then my my clicks to views ratio is decent i can i can uh, so there there is an interest okay so i should share this product and get boost it and promote my product to increase transactions and consideration 
and eventual buying through Facebook. Okay, so so that's it, guys, from the Facebook shop section. Uh, I hope this helped you understand how you can use Facebook as a platform for from an e-commerce point of view, from a retailer point of view, from a merchant point of view to showcase your product portfolio and even to boost even to organically and through paid you can increase your awareness consideration and eventual buying within the facebook in fact itself not just on your third party website on your facebook thank you guys and see you in the next session thank you